Welcome back. Just before the break, we were talking to our guest today, Mr. Vijay Mehta, a peace activist and an author about peace and how to establish peace, how to export peace from one peaceful place to another place which is lacking peace. Now, last week you had a conference, something to do with unity and peace and religion. What are the different interpretations of peace by various faith groups? You see, the, the, they, they all agree that killing is bad mm -hmm. and uh, thou shalt not kill. This is very moral. Uh, so says Buddha. So say the Jains. Uh, but what is practical is sometimes uh, seems beyond practice yeah we last week we had a uh, very successful conference on religions for peace mm -hmm. and we had dr uh, mark owen from winchester uh, P, uh, director of winchester peace and reconciliation then we had dr marcus braybrook president of uh, world council of faith mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then we had Natuwai Shah, who is the CEO of the Jain Network. Mm -hmm. And we had Anna Lubiska, who teaches interfaith um, in the schools. She has got this interfaith uh, movement. Then we had Imam Munawar Hussain mm -hmm. from the Oxford Foundation, who runs the Oxford Foundation for students to of violence and extremism. Right, right. See. So, so the, the, the message of all religions, the core message is the same. Right. Non-violence, peace, love, compassion, kindness, harmony, coexistence, cooperation. Of course, the paths are different. When you say they do it by, different, yeah. the they do it by destination prayer, is the by, same. He, by healing the rifts, by prayers, uh, by by the rituals. Right, you see. Uh, the right. rituals are the physical aspect of it, you see, what you go through. But the inner inner search, what yeah. you go through inside your soul, mm. is this the same, isn't it? It is the same, yeah. As, as I said, that peace without inner peace you cannot have global peace sure. so so it's so important to have inner peace you have to develop inner peace by tolerance uh, 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 by uh, communion with others by uh, saying um, uh, each uh, going to each other's marriages religious festivals to their uh, events what we called multi-faith, interfaith uh, uh, dialogue. So you, you have to do all that to create harmony and peace in the world. Right. You, you, that's the catch word, multi-faith, multicultural mm. dialogue. See, we live in a society, it's a multicultural society. See, see my neighbor is uh, probably a Jain on one side and, and uh, the, on the other side he is a Christian Church of England. See, I'm a Muslim, see. But in this rat race of everyday life, you see, there is hardly a chance beyond good morning, how are you, nice weather, you see. How to create that, see, mm. with, with your knowledge, with your experience, I would like to know and I would like to share with my viewers, you see. How to create that atmosphere, that where we can go beyond that and understand each other. That mm. is, if you don't understand, then the people are always suspect of something that they don't understand. That's true. Uh, Gandhi said that all the core message of all religions is non-violence, love, compassion. Mm -hmm. But he said to know some uh, an, another religion, you have to read that or follow that religion according to the followers of that faith. Because if you because you are an outsider. Right. So if I try to, like I'm a Hindu and you are a Muslim. So if I try to get knowledge about uh, Islam, for example, mm -hmm. I need to be, say to myself, uh, this Islam is a religion of peace and brotherhood. 
Right. And I have to read Islam from that angle. Mm -hmm. Then there is a chance, there is a possibility that you will be able to get the fullest benefit or the knowledge of that religion. Right. And same, the, uh, the Muslims or Christians or Jewish and other religious, religious people have to do with Hinduism. Right. Because at the core of the, all these religions is the same. As I said, love, compassion, harmony, unity, uh, reconciliation, peace, etc. This is very nice on piece of paper or in books, you see, but it's not happening. No. Where is the problem? Problem is that when religion is tied up with violence and extremism. Mm -hmm. So isn't the it, saddest part isn't just diabolical. This is this not diabolical. possible. Yeah, is the saddest part is then people put two and two together. They bring extremism, terrorism, and they combine that with religion. Can, can confuse it. And they confuse it with religion. So that is the violence in the name of religion. That that is the duty of spiritual leaders. Mm -hmm. Of all faith to to go out in the society mm -hmm. and say that this is not religion, but these people are preaching is hate, mm -hmm. uh, divisiveness, and the religion uh, Islam or Hinduism or for that matter Christianity. Christianity. It doesn't preach that. Of course, if you go back in history. There is a problem, there was a problem with religion because they used to conquer countries. Import and, their religion. And import their religion or, or convert them to Christianity, uh, 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 Islam, Islam yeah, or other. But if you go to the modern times, that's not the case. Mm -hmm. it's, the, it's the case is to live together with other religions in harmony and peace and reconciliation. But what is practiced is not harmony and peace, you see. And I always think, where is the problem? I mean, mm -hmm. we were talking about arms race, we were talking about, I mean, the world is, is, is one na couple of nations on this side, couple of nations on mm -hmm. that side. Mm -hmm. They have got nuclear armaments, you see. Now the nuclear club does not want new members, you see. They're always suspect of the intentions of the other party. Mm. Look at Iran, see, mm. see, look at North Korea, see, sure, sure. see, they are the bad boys, see. But if I can have it, it's good, see. As you said before, it's considered as a security, form of security. If I have a gun, I'm protected. But why produce a gun? Can't we live without guns? People mm. have lived without mm. guns mm. for generations and they have mm. achieved peace. As you said, that there was mm. this peace mm. has been achieved in Europe. Mm. And if it can be practiced outside, the mm. example can be set. See, you said the spiritual leaders uh, can convince the members of the society. See, How can you convince them when people are at war? See, it, Isn't it by, by most of this, you, you named Gandhi, you, you, you know, people can think of Mandela, Mandela people can yeah. think of uh, uh, Martin, Martin Luther, Luther King, Martin, Martin Luther King, 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 Mother Teresa, and all Mother that. Teresa, see, yeah. they, they forgot themselves. They, they, they did not have any selfish interests. They thought of the society. They thought of the people, see, the common people. And that is how they won the hearts hmm. of many. Hmm. There's always a scarcity of such people around. Absolutely, yeah. So let me start. You, you throw me quite a few number of questions. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the, at the heart of the troubles in the world is the big power aggression. The aggression is between, mainly between bigger countries like US and Russia, mm -hmm. but Iran and North Korea and Syria and all, all these, they are bogeymen or proxies, mm, yes. which means North Korea is going to attack. You know, it was quite funny, this uh, foreign, foreign minister has resigned now, the fallen and he said, North, we have got a threat from North Korea here, sitting here. I mean, <laughs> it can't be more laughable than that. And 
and it was like Tony Tony Blair's 15 minutes. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's that kind of a thing. And uh, <coughs> anchor after anchor in America, and CNN and other, they report that North Korea. We got a threat. They have just produced a weapon which can hit anywhere, lo- anywhere in America. So that is the sure way of starting Third World War. The point is that when I say big power aggression, U.S. want to have a strategy of controlling the world, controlling the resources of the world, Mm -hmm. and having hegemonic power, power to itself. Same is the problem with Russia. So, Russia is helping Iran, Syria, Turkey, Turkey, all these. So they become bad boys in the eyes of U.S. Yes. And the Western powers like uh, France, Germany, and, and U.K., they are complicit with the U.S. So all the West and all uh, U.S.A. are against Russia, it's against like- Iran, against uh, North Korea. So the, because of the uh, fake news, people it's like are... A, a- West, brainwashed. West and they. Yeah. It's, 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 they're brainwashed and they don't get the real news. So unless and until that is one problem has to be solved, that people need to know the truth, where the truth lies, and then they can decide what to do. And secondly, there are other problems relating to war. Mm-hmm. One is the inequality, the gap between rich and poor. North, south. North and south. As the Oxfam report recently said, eight people in the world own as much wealth as 3.5 billion in the world. Half the humanity owes as much wealth. The rich are getting richer, the poor. So they are going to be in trouble unless we have a a just world. We have to work for a just world for social and political and economic justice. And the other are crises, we can say climate change crises, then we have got Terrorism, and then we got uh, we uh, over, over, all these are overpopulation, overpopulation, migration problem. Sixty-five million Refuge. refugees in the yeah. world. All these problems are tied up. That's why there is so much chaos uh, uh, around the world. But then again, if you see, there are ways to deal with these things. Yes, that's what I wanted to ask you. Yeah. Peace through resolution. Peace through. A conflict resolution. There are there are great examples that peace has been built. If you if the warring parties, parties who are fighting with each other, mm. are prepared to take a no, I won't say a gamble, take the next step and bring peace to to their country. Like the example, great example is the Colombian peace process, which just happened recently after 50 years of struggle between the Colombian government and the FARC. Now they have put down weapons, disarmed themselves, and they are they are they have even stood in the election, the FARC, after fifty years. If you think of United Kingdom uh, against the IRA. Hmm? The, well the IRA. it's the same. Same. I mean at at one time we said, oh, we will never sit down with these terrorists. But in the end, the channels were well, open from 1980s actually, mm-hmm. but then the Good Friday Agreement happened in 1998, and that happened after we uh, the UK government gave an amnesty to some of the people who were involved in killings and all that, and same happened that uh, uh, there were a power sharing arrangement in the Constituent Assembly in Northern Ireland, and the sworn enemies started to work together for the peace of Ireland, and from one thing led to another. So if you try, the the peace uh, settlements can happen, but both the tries, uh, (coughs) the the people who are fighting with each other. Sometimes, Hmm. uh, if you, you introduce a third party, that does influence the outcome, see, because uh, they seem to believe the third party more than uh, the direct negotiations. We, that, th- we need to take a break here now, okay. and then we'll come back, we'll continue with the same discussion. Thank okay. you. Thank you for being with us.
Yitzchak. We'll be back soon after this short break. Thank you.